Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer, the 27th of January, 2022. Pastor Steve Woodfin here in the sanctuary of our Shepherd Lutheran Church in Birmingham, Michigan, by the prayer window. Um, we're not particularly talking about prayer today. I just haven't shown that window in a while, and it's so beautiful. Uh, and it's, it just it shows prayer going up to the heavens and God blessing it as, uh, as it comes up to him. So I just thought I'd uh, have that in the background today. And with, of course, we'll pray at the end of our time together here this morning. It's also, uh, by the way, the feast of St. John Chrysostom, the great preacher from Antioch and Constantinople from the 4th and uh, 5th centuries. So we'll talk a little bit about uh, um, the golden mouth which is what Chrysostom means. Well, let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. From Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. I love that image of a tree planted by a stream, constantly being fed and nourished and growing and strengthening uh, from that stream going by. That's exactly us, right? As we spend time in God's word, that stream of life, uh, of God's word itself, uh, building up and strengthening our faith and making us stronger spiritually. Um, it's just a perfect, perfect image of the, of the Christian connected to God's word. Okay, now Romans 15, Paul is talking here about how he has been uh, chosen by God to be the, the uh, minister to the Gentiles. I myself am satisfied about you, my brothers, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge and able to instruct one another. But on some points I have written to you very boldly by way of reminder, because of the grace given me by God, to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles in priestly service of the gospel of God, so that the offering of the Gentiles may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus, then, I have reason to be proud of my work for God. For I will not venture to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me to bring the Gentiles to obedience by word and deed, by the power of signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and all the way around to Illyricium, I have fulfilled the ministry of the gospel of Christ. And thus I make it my ambition to preach the gospel. Not where Christ has already been named, lest I build on someone else's foundation. But as it is written, those who have never been told of him will see, and those who have never heard will understand. So Paul makes it clear that his ministry, his calling is to reach out to the Gentiles, especially those who have not heard the gospel before. And then he doesn't want to build on someone else's work, but he wants to be the one and feels called to be the one by the power of the Holy Spirit to bring the gospel to all these different areas of the world that have not previously heard of it at all. Uh, a scary proposition. It's not a, not a place where it'd be comfortable to go. But Paul, of course, is filled with the Spirit. And while he uses the word proud, he always, always gives all credit, all glory to God and his work. So now a writing today, a beautiful writing, very short one though, um, from St. John Chrysostom. Uh, and then we'll talk about him a little bit too as we celebrate his special day today. Jesus gave himself as a ransom. He said, how then was he delivered up by the Father? Because it was of his goodness. And what does ransom mean? God was about to punish them, but he did not do it. They were about to perish. This is us, by the way, they. But in their stead, he gave his own son and sent us as heralds to proclaim the cross. These things are sufficient to attract all and to demonstrate the love of Christ. So truly, so inexpressibly great are the benefits that God has bestowed upon us. He sacrificed himself for his enemies who hated and rejected him. What no one would do for friends, for brothers, for children, that the Lord has done for his servants, 
a Lord not himself such as one as his servants, but God for men, for men not deserving. Now, St. John himself, um, it's not, he wasn't born with that last name Chrysostom. That's a Greek word that actually means golden mouth. And it was because he apparently was a very good preacher of the word. And so he earned this nickname that kind of stuck with him, well, for the last, what, 1600 years anyway. Uh, he was a dominant force in the fourth century Christian church, born in Antioch around 347. Uh, his mother, Anthusa, introduced him to the Christian faith. And after serving in a lot of Christian offices, he was ordained as a presbyter and given preaching responsibilities. Um, and in 398, he was made the Patriarch of Constantinople. His determination to reform the church, the court, and the city, so he, he did confine his actions and his words just to the church, but he was very socially active as well. So the church, the court, and the city brought him into conflict with established authorities. Eventually, he was exiled from his adopted city of Constantinople. Although removed from his parishes and people, he continued writing and preaching until the time of his death in A.D. 407. It is reported that his final words were, Glory be to God for all things. Amen. So today we celebrate and thank God for St. John Chrysostom. Well, let's pray. We'll pray uh, the high strong word, with oh, a great powerful hymn, verse 5 of that hymn. And we'll pray a prayer of the day that is especially geared toward St. John Chrysostom's day today. Heavenly Father, give us lips to sing thy glory, tongues thy mercy to proclaim, throats that shout the hope that fills us, mouths to speak thy holy name. Alleluia, alleluia. May the light which thou dost send fill our songs with alleluias, alleluias without end. Heavenly Father, you gave us your servant John Chrysostom grace to proclaim the gospel with eloquence and power. As bishop of the congregations of Antioch and Constantinople, he fearlessly bore reproach for the honor of your name. Mercifully grant to all bishops and pastors such excellence in preaching and fidelity in ministering your word that your people shall be partakers of the divine nature. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace today and forever. Amen. Have a glorious day today.